Welcome to Sally Melody's classroom where we learn basic music. And that is why we have basic harmony. Our harmony is very basic. At that corner, that is where I have written the three major chords. We have chord one, we have chord four, we have chord five. Members of chord one are do, mi, so, do. Members of chord four, fa, la, do, fa. Members of chord five, so, ti, re, so. Remember, after you have written your triad, which is, which is a, a set of three notes, to get a chord of those four notes, you just double the root. And this is the root. That is why we have a do here and a do here. A fa here and a fa here. A so here and another so there. That one you remember when you go back to our lesson where we did chords and how we construct a triad and a chord. And I also said that at this level, because we are still in basics, let's not touch the minor chords. Let's first work with the major ones. We first work with the major ones, which is one, four, and five. And then we're going to come to the minor ones. Even if you are not going to use all of them, we are going to be using a few in the, in the song to break the monotony. As we said, you must have a melody in order to get a harmony. This is what you are harmonizing. This is my melody. The first voice here. This is my, this is my melody. I have, I have called it melody voice one or soprano, depending on the group you are composing for. How does my melody sound like? Before you sing any song, you start with rhythm. Ta 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 te ta te ta te ta te ta ta. Do mi re mi fa re do re do ti do do. So that is my melody. You will have your own melody. Number two, after you have written your melody up there, as the upper voice up there, ensure that. The first voice to harmonize is this one. The bottom voice or the bass. I have taken the root. This is the root. I have written them there as the bottom voice. Ensure that you first work with the root. I know you might ask yourself, what about a monotony? I know there will be monotony in the voices, but, uh, but there is something we call inversion. You can invert, you can exchange. Maybe this one can come here and this one can come here. That is what we call inversion. But I don't want us to rush so much into inversions before we, before we use the, the root. Let us first use the root for maybe two or three lessons. And then after that, we can start looking at inversions, how you can interchange instead of the do being the root all the time. Maybe the me, sometimes you can put a me there and then a so there. But for now, let's deal with root. So you put all those roots here. So the root in chord one is a do. Same applies to this because this is a do and it is in chord one. I have given it a do here because it is the root. You just look at the, 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 you just look at your melody. And then when you consider the melody, you start asking yourself, if Re is in uh, chord five, what is the root? The root is supposed to be, the bottom note is supposed to be so. You put them here. That one you can even put when your eyes are closed because obvious you know that in chord one, our bass note there, or our root, is a do. In chord four, our root is a fa. In chord five, our root is a so. You just place them there. You just place them there like that. The root, in root position. In root position. And then you give the bass. You give the bass. 
Now after giving the base, the all the roots, now you have you like here you have used a dough and a dough. After using a dough here and a dough here, when you look at that chord one, maybe the, the, the remaining the remaining uh, notes were so and me. You have already put the two doughs. You have doubled the root. Now you need the a so and a me. The top note here was a me. So you only need a so and to double the root, which is a do, so that you can have that complete chord. Here you have a re. So the bottom note was a so. You only need a T and the other so that the other doubled so to complete that to complete that chord. Here you have a me on top here, and then you have given it the root. So what remains it is the so and the doubled do. This is chord four, where we have fa la do. Your melody here has a fa. So your bottom note should be also a fa. The bottom one, the root. So you only need a la and a do. You put it there. That is how you do vertically. But still, when you are giving the, the, inner, the inner parts, these inner parts, the altos and the tenors, Sometimes it is tricky. As you have seen, this one is simple because you already have your melody. This one is also simple because you only need to place the, the roots, the, the, the bottom notes, where they are supposed to be in each chord. But you, when you come to the inner parts, as you go across and as you go vertically, you must be very careful because I think in most cases, those are the voices that bring discord, discord, because of maybe overlapping of voices and maybe placing the notes where they are not supposed to be. Because once you get the melody and then you get the root, now you have to be, to be very careful when you put the inner parts. That is why we say harmony or any composing, whether melody harmonizing, it can take you even a whole month as you try to compose a song. Because you need to be to do it once and again to confirm whether everything is everything is placed well. So I want us to look at the the, the, the bass. First we sing the melody. We sing Do mi re mi fa re do re do ti do do that is the melody that has given us this, these other voices. We go to the bass. Do, do, so, do, fa, so, do, so, do, so, do, do. Let's sing the second voice, which is alto. So, do, ti, do, do, ti, so, ti, do, so, so, so. And then we go to the third voice, which is tenor. Mi so 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 la so mi so mi re mi mi. That is how we do our harmony. But that one is not the final harmony. Sometimes you can sit down and you start arranging them once and again, especially for the inner parts. Maybe it can sound like a discord and then you happen to interchange. To interchange, maybe you can give these ones a so, and then this one can sing a me like that and like that. But that is the basic harmonization. If you follow that example and you try to make a better harmony, that is just something basic that has given you the way. The most important thing is to follow the rules. Thank you very much for joining this class. See you in the next class.